Hi everyone, I'm Yeji, the general manager of the Old Pixel Spy Streamline. Today I'm happy to walk you through the apartment set that our team has built in Unreal, which you can purchase on Unreal Marketplace. What we have built is a typical Hong Kong public housing from back in the early 80s. It reflects Hong Kong's culture from the 80s, but with some added Malaysian elements for a unique twist. A large portion of our production team is based in Malaysia, so the added elements was our own way of inserting several easter eggs throughout the apartment set. The aim of this video is to walk you through how each asset is used in real life and to provide proper cultural context as you use these elements to build your virtual worlds. If you purchase the Mega Pack, it comes fully equipped with walls, floors, furniture and props, which can be used to build an entire apartment unit. There are also options to purchase the furniture only pack or the prop only pack, depending on your needs. Inside the mega pack, you'll see that we've built two variations of the apartment layouts using the parts that are included in the asset packs. Think of these as a guide and an example of how the assets can be assembled together. Let's have a look at the first layout. As we walk into the first apartment, you'll first notice a lazy chair and a table, both of which are foldable. This is a very important feature in an apartment unit like this, where space is valuable and limited. On the table, you'll notice several biscuit tins, tuna cans, and a rice cooker. What is out of place here is the plastic jar with a red lid, containing pineapple tarts. So the pineapple tarts isn't typically what's eaten in Hong Kong, but it is a snack adored by Chinese Malaysians during New Year celebrations. You'll also see several other New Year themed pieces, like the banner you see above the table, which says Prosperity Star Shines on You, a poetic New Year message. As you walk in further, you'll see a TV monitor, cathode ray no less, it's not a microwave for the young ones who are wondering, that's what a TV used to look like. Behind the TV set is a desk with a sewing table. Again, a very vintage model is built into the table. Above, you see more New Year banners. The banner on the left has the same message as the banner you saw earlier, and the one on the right has a poetic celebratory message ushering fortune and luck. You'll also notice that the square banner in the middle is seemingly upside down and facing the wrong way. This is intentional and not wrong. There's multiple, multiple stories and legends behind it, but the most common theory is that the character in the banner reads Fu, which means fortune. So when you say fu, the fortune is upside down in Chinese, you say fu dao le, which is a clever pun that also means fu, the fortune, is here. Behind the sewing machine is a kitchen, and next to it a bedroom and a toilet, which I'll go into more detail later as we go through the second layout. And here it is from another angle. You're able to see a typical vintage Hong Kong style iron grill window. Of course, here in the demo, you get a lot of natural light, but depending on your apartment layout back then, you didn't get much sun coming in into the apartment. The second layout was built to show another example of how the assets can be assembled and brought together. This version includes a mahjong table and a full kitchen. In this kitchen, you will again notice space-saving furniture like foldable tables and stools. The stackable red plastic stools are a staple in Hong Kong apartments and is a piece of 80s nostalgia. Below the stove, you'll notice a gas tank. Before central gas was available, these gas tanks were a common sight in kitchens across Hong Kong and Malaysia. On the stove itself, you'll notice a kettle, very important for drinking tea, and a well old wok, very versatile for rice, noodles, or any other vegetable or meat dishes. Next to the kitchen is bedroom with a double-decker bed. Again, space saving is a recurring theme here. Inside, there is also a wall with ceiling fan, an essential when it comes to Hong Kong apartments as it gets very humid during summer. This is the bathroom. Of course, not all bathrooms back then were moldy like this, at what you see here, but for this particular unit, we felt it made sense since it's a windowless bathroom. You also see a water hose next to the toilet, which isn't actually part of Hong Kong's culture, but is a nod to the Malaysian culture. It's a very commonly found and nifty hose that you find in typical toilets in Southeast Asia. This is also a wet type toilet, which is very different from the dry type toilets you typically see in European houses, where there is carpets and wooden floors. I personally find these easier to maintain and clean. 
And now to the main area with the mahjong table. Mahjong is a tile-based game popularly played during festivities such as the New Year's. Different countries play this game with a slightly different style and flair. Next to the mahjong table, you see a little shrine next to a vase. It's dark in the video, but there is also a Guan Yu idol in the cupboard. Small family shrines or altars like this is a very common sight in Hong Kong and in Malaysia. Very commonly, it's inside the house with incense, small offerings like the oranges that you see here, or sometimes with tea or some food, and a Guan Yu statue. Uh, Guan Yu is a very popular historical figure and a god that's worshipped in families. On the far left is a cupboard and a bookcase with Chinese literature and more of the pineapple tarts that you saw earlier. And that brings us to the end of the apartment tour. Head on over to Unreal Marketplace if you'd like to purchase this pack. Happy building! Mm -hmm.